confirmed. This is what it feels like to touch down on Mars. Celebrations at NASA as the InSight probe landed, the highlight of an extraordinary year for exploration of the Red Planet. InSight is pioneering the study of the interior of Mars with a Franco-British seismometer and a German heat probe. It's the first time that we actually uh, specifically aim to study the interior because you know with other pathfinder with um, MSL we're there to study the environment of Mars to see if there is water if there's ice or how the climate changed through the four billion years but this mission is different we're going to actually put a seismometer on the surface of Mars Everything went well for InSight during its landing. However, Mars does have the reputation for surprising scientists. And in 2018, it did so when a global dust storm covered the planet. Fine powder on the surface was stirred up and the view from the Curiosity rover darkened quickly. For the scientists, it was a once-in-a-lifetime chance. We had the time to take some measurements before the storm some reference measures, and then we were able to see the entire evolution of it, from a regional storm to a global storm, and now obviously to see the storm dissipate. Another surprise came when Italian researchers used ESA's Mars Express spacecraft to identify what appears to be a 20-kilometer wide water lake under the Martian South Pole. Yeah, this is important. Li liquid water is, is, has always been seen as a prerequisite for life. Doesn't necessarily mean that we have it there, but uh, it is one ingredient that we would need to have life. The search for life on Mars is happening in earnest. The joint European and Russian ExoMars rover is being built now and will fly there in 2020. With six spacecraft and two probes already at Mars, we're learning a lot. Our view of Mars has changed in the past 20 years. You know, it's a much more dynamic planet. Uh, than, than we imagined maybe 20 years ago. And that's due to the fact that we have now very high resolution observations that where you can see that there are changes occurring. Perhaps humans will be able to witness those changes a decade from now as private space firm SpaceX has yet again reiterated that it intends to send people to the Red Planet before 2030.